And now, an open letter to women who are getting Brazilians and ruining it for the rest of us. Dear women who are getting Brazilians and ruining it for the rest of us, I get it. There's a lot of pressure out there to appear attractive, so I understand the desire to pluck things and shellac things and even use a wand to apply coats of paraffin, methylcellulose, and pigmentation to the hair around our eyeballs to make them appear thicker and longer. Yes, it is weird that our culture has decided that our eyeballs don't have enough hair around them, but other parts have too much. <laughs> but even so, you've gone too far. I understand that it's complicated down there, that in an ideal world we should make it as simple as possible to navigate what can be a dark and confusing place. <laughs> but in the same way we currently regret raising the rainforests, the women of the future will regret your personal rainforest raising as the era when we could have saved ourselves a lot of pain but chose not to. Now maybe you feel like we've gone too far down the waxing road and we can't turn back. Not true. Our culture's hair decisions are clearly arbitrary and reversible. We've moved on from Burt Reynolds' mustache and the dark days of 80s claw bangs, but we've also gone back and re-embraced the mutton shop and the pixie cut. That means we can go back to a simpler, more accepting time when afros were all the rage. Everywhere. <laughs> this is about creating a new cultural contract, one that says that we all want to be attractive, we just don't want that attractiveness to cause more pain than a standard dental cleaning, and that our personal hygiene rituals should never trigger our fight or flight response. <laughs> we can do this if we band together, if we decide as a gender that pain hurts and we will no longer pay $70 to have another woman tell us about her boyfriend's weird mole while ripping hair out of a spot we don't even allow ourselves to see because it's frankly kind of weird looking and nature has provided natural cover for it which we should use. And men can make the same contract with other men about their backs and chests and balls which are also weird looking and we can become a culture of happy, furry people, indecipherable from our prehistoric ancestors, aside from the cell phones and rampant narcissism. We will go back to our roots, which we will stop dying, eventually when I'm ready. And we will be content until we find something else to feel terrible about, which will be really, really soon. Thank you.